Okay. Bye. Alicia? Yeah, yes? Something happened? You look shell-shocked. Oh, uh, yeah, you could say that. You know, um, Mac went to Somalia to try to find Frisco. Frisco? Is he here right now? Yeah, yeah he's in there with Maxie right now. Oh, my God. Oh, no wonder you have that look on your face. Well? Well, I don't know. It's very strange. Were you glad to see him? Well, yeah, yeah, I was for Maxie. You should have seen her eyes when she opened them up in her daddy's face. I haven't seen her light up like that since... Well, I... I, I don't know. You know, Maxie's reaction isn't any surprise. I'm trying to get yours. Well, my, my mind is spinning. I mean, you know, he walks in here out of the blue, has no clue what's been going on in our lives for the last few years, or the changes. I mean, he's like a stranger to us. But at the same time, he's so familiar. We, we were sitting or standing and watching Maxie. It was the three of us together in a circle, and it was like he never left. I'm telling you, Bobby, I don't think I have strength left to deal with this. No, the last thing in the world Tony wants right now is uh, this name with him. <sighs> he wants to be alone. Some people need to grieve alone. So let's not interfere. I know there's nothing that I can say make this easy for you. I love you so much. If Maxie makes it through this, let's go and I have you and Tony to thank.
Thank you. What can I do to help you? Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Look, if I were in your place, I would be overjoyed by the miracle that saved Maxie. And part of me is so happy for you. But, um, being you really hurt. And it's kind of awkward for you, so would you mind if I left for a while? Darling, would you like me to go with you? Yeah. All right, I'll get out. But if you don't intend to help Bobby through this, then I will. She deserves better than this. That's... Hey, 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 easy, fellas. Hold it, hold. Get out of my way. Oh, God, Frisco, stop. You should go. Of course. Take Bobby with you. It's my house. That might be the best thing at the moment. My son is here. Do you really want him to see what's going on between you and your husband? Maybe you and Tony can resolve this when Tony's in a bit more rational frame of mind. Easy, Tony. Easy. Both of you, leave. Please. Come on, Bobby. Easy. Easy. Sorry. Well, is uh, this a guy moment, or uh, can anybody have a beer? Everything okay? Feels a little thick in here. Yes, it is. A little thick in here, isn't it? Well, Tony, I'll think about what you told me. Well, certainly don't do it on my account. Well, well. What did you say to him? Probably doesn't matter. It just went in one ear and out the other. Frisco says he wants to come home. Really? I wouldn't be too excited about it. Felicia's apparently not bouncing off the walls with the news. What do you want to bet that he stays around just long enough for her to believe him before he leaves again? Hey, Bobby. Tony around? He's called in surgery. Is it important? Oh, it's not an emergency. You don't mind my ass. Would this have anything to do with that little scene I walked in on last night between you and Tony? After I left, you didn't ask him about it? Oh, please. I have enough problem dealing with what's going on between Tony and me. I really don't want to play referee in the other aspects of his life. I understand. Probably a very wise choice. That was no big deal, like I said. Just me and my brother disagreeing about everything. No, in this case, my role in Felicia's life. Uh-oh. I, I can't tell you the attitude that he has. He's being extremely protective. And I can't believe she allows it. You know how independent and strong she is. You know, he's been that way ever since they got back from Cairo. Bobby, I'm telling you, he... I mean, it's fine if he wants to play big brother. It's just at this point, I don't think it's any of his business. Well, now, wait a minute, Frisco. It is about family, and you know how he is about that. I understand how he is, and, and I respect that. But you can't believe the attitude. I mean, he, he's, he's angry at me. <laughs> Join the club. He feels that because... Because I missed Georgie's birth, that I, I forfeited my right to be part of this entire picture. You know, I thought that he would be supportive. I thought that he'd be happy that I, I came back and that he'd want me to work it out with Felicia. Said he's giving me a ton of grief and she's doing the same thing. Oh, good for her. Well, you can't expect her to make it easy for you, especially after your last visit home. Perfect. Now everybody's ganging up on me. Eh, just a little. I think she ought to make you work for a little bit. And what about you and Tony? Can we discuss that? Ugh, please. You don't really want to know. No, I do want to know. Because maybe my answer's there. Is this attitude of his because of what's going on in his life? Or what's going on in mine? No. We've been through so much in the past year. You know, since BJ died. I mean, it's really been the longest year of my life. Yeah, in Cairo, Tony had mentioned things were a little rocky. Well, that was an understatement. It wasn't just BJ, you know. I mean, she was, she was certainly a factor. But, you know, I've thought about it a lot. With you and Felicia, I and mean, with everything that you've been through, you two have never deliberately tried to hurt each other. At least, not on purpose. And you and Tony did. Yeah. We became experts at it. Until we realized that the person we were hurting most was Lucas. 
I mean, thank goodness kids are so resilient. You know, we're in therapy. Yeah, I heard. Oh, boy, that's an eye-opener, you know. Feels like sometimes we're taking eight steps backwards. But, uh, we've finally been able to call a truce. And, um, we've finally been able to stop taking shots at each other long enough to let some of the women start to heal. Good. I mean, it looks as though you're getting along okay. Yeah, well, you miss most of the fireworks. But, like I said, we call the truce. I mean, yeah. it's, it's tenuous, but it's there. So you think you may find your way back? The way it was? No, never. But I really feel that Tony and I can probably have something very good together. And about 80% of the time, that's what I really want. What about that other 20%? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I still want it. I mean, in spite of everything that Tony and I have done to each other, and as much as the man infuriates me, he's really the only man I want to be married to. Including me? Oh, please. I have enough trouble dealing with a man who's actually here. I couldn't handle one who was practically invisible. Of course, that might solve all of my problems. Well, don't count on it. So how long does the therapy last? I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling very fragile right now. You know, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, and when I make one false move, I can just shatter everything. Yeah, right, right. Well, Tony's been living upstairs this whole time, huh? each other. How about some unsolicited advice? Why not? If I were you, I'd put your gloves on. Fire it up a little bit. Meaning? Well, let's face it, Bobby. You know, one, to be shy. Get in there. Fight for what you believe in. Get after it. Are you serious? Absolutely. You can't walk on eggshells your whole life. You gotta get in there. You gotta, you gotta mix it up a little bit. See what you both can come up with. Now, come on, don't tell me you never thought of that. Give it some thought if I were you. Otherwise, nothing's going to change. Anyway, I got to go. Huh? Come on. Okay, where are you going? Well, believe it or not, I'm taking my family on a picnic. Am I a domestic kind of guy or what? Oh, good for you. You want me to tell Tony you were looking for him? Yeah, do that, will you? Tell him to lighten up, huh? Oh, yeah, right. I'll let you do that yourself. See you. 